need something that has options like different sizes or different colors, you'll need to go to products, attributes, and name whatever the category is that is this option. So if you need something for sizes, then name the attribute sizes. Click add attribute. It'll appear over here on the side. Click on configure terms to give in the answers for what are the sizes. So one of the options for sizes, we're going to have large. Add that. It shows up over here. Medium. and small. Now go to a product that is going to have one of these options. Uh, we'll just choose space plans for an example. Scroll down past the description area to where it's product data. Change it from simple to variable. Then on the left click attributes. From here, you'll choose what are the options for this product. I just made sizes, so now we'll add that. Now, it doesn't need tool height, so I'm going to remove that. After I've got my sizes in, values, well, what are the options going to be? Select all, it's large, medium, and small. Make sure use for variations is checked, then save attributes. Now click on variations. Let's just remove those. They were there from before. So when you click on variations, it'll be blank, and I'll just say this. Click on add variation. Now, if all of the variations are going to be the same price, you can leave this to say any size. Then you put a price here. But if the variations are going to have different prices, say large is $10, but you need a medium for 7 well, make one for large, make it at 10 click Add Variation, and now it gives you a second box, medium, and in medium's price, is seven dollars. Then you update the page. And the page will now be able to show that it's got a price range from seven to ten dollars. Changes depending on which item you purchase, whether it's large or medium.